Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Anne, also known as Fan of Life, and today we are going to be talking about one of my favorite shows on television. Well, that was on television that needs to come back on TV or on Hulu, Netflix, or HBO, or the big screen. Either one, I I'm, I would be fine with it. Bye. Girlfriends, my that sound way much better in shower. They're through thick and thin. My girlfriends, cues in the wind. <laughs> girlfriends. So last week I watched the ABC Blackish um, Blast from the Past, whatever kind of series they had and they brought back the cast of girlfriends now it is a 30 minute comedy um blackish on abc so it was not a lot of lines as i would have to expect if you've never seen girlfriends don't know what girlfriends is the show then you are living under a rock and you need to wake up this show was amazing it did so much um, watching that blackish episode i mean it just reaffirms that um we need to have girlfriends back it needs to be like something that people like we really need to go on social media and talk about it you know because social media is powerful in a sense basically seeing the cast they still look beautiful amazing i mean black women really don't age and the chemistry they still have now um the show girlfriends had eight full seasons and i think by season six jill marie jones who played tony left the show and after she left the show basically there was a writer's strike and then the show was abruptly canceled and the reason why I believe this show needs to come back besides the fact that everybody's talking about reboots I'm not asking for a girlfriend reboots because we have the original cast Mar Mara has a script we just need a production studio to actually film and financially produce this show because at this time, um, based on the Breakfast Club interview that I seen with Mara, that's a, a long time ago. I will, I'll put the link down below or let you know where you can find it. But she already has a script. She already knows what she wants it to be about. It's just right now a production studio, and all the cast is on board to do this and to have a girlfriend's show during this time like the fact that tracy ellis ross said this in an interview with charlamagne um that the thing about girlfriends how did she quote it because i want to quote it exactly the way she said it girlfriends was ahead of its time but at the same time girlfriends was a timeless show girlfriends still to this day to this day if i watch the show girlfriends it's still relatable it's like oh my gosh i feel like as if like when i watch the show like i'm just sitting in a room with them because the show was that good it was well written the actors had great chemistry the stories were relatable and now that i'm older the stories are definitely relatable and i just ugh, this show needs to come back like it really does um the now girlfriends need to come back and I was watching this interview with Charlemagne and had the whole entire cast. They were like on the set of Blackish on the director's chairs and stuff like that. And they were talking about the show. And you could see the chemistry with the girls. And they are still as if like girlfriends. Now, most importantly, the show ended in a way where we didn't have any closure. It ended abruptly. Like the cast didn't even know the show was going to end. And the only reason why Tony, aka Joan Marie Jones, her real name, ended because there was a few things going on. It was back then where where um, UPN, CW had all the black shows, all the funny shows about family. They had a DL Hughley show there. They had the Parkers. They had Moesha. Oh, this was a time where black shows were thriving. And I think that's making a comeback again. Um, it's just that back then the reason why they, were, they went away is because the studio decides. If the studio or the network doesn't want it, then they don't want it. I guess we were trending for them for a certain time and you know, they didn't want us anymore. But now with so many um, executive producers who are black with Tyler Perry brand new, amazing, humongous studio in Atlanta, I think of so many people who could executive produce this show. Um, 
I believe like a Larry Wilmore because Larry Wilmore executive produced so many shows, Bernie Mac show, the PJs, um, Insecure to name something more recent and so many other shows like this man, like Larry Wilmore, Larry Wilmore does not get enough credit, but most importantly, Kelsey Grammer, he executive produced Girlfriends. Um, he got, I believe, may, might need to do some research to fact check me, but I think I'm saying it right. But Paramount wanted, Paramount gave him a deal and he wanted to seek a show with black women. And then he, um, I guess they found Mara Brock Akil, the writer of Girlfriends. She also worked on Moesha and she also wrote the game and more recent project from her is called Love Is that was on OWN. And the fact that she still has a script for this show, like, the main thing is finding somebody to fund the show, to executive produce the show, to give the creative to to give the creativity of the show because girlfriend is timeless and because it's timeless it's still relevant especially till this day. This show was not about mainly focused about their dating lives and things like that. It was more about the relationship they had with each other as girlfriends, you know? When Joan and Tony weren't friends. Like, I just wanted Joan and Tony to be friends again. Like, I feel like they were my girlfriends and they were getting along, but I wanted them to be friends because I understood why they weren't friends. But, like, it's like, can y'all just be friends? And the episode, oh, to this day, when I watched the episode of when, um, when they were in church and, um, Donnie McClurklin was there. Did I say his name right? I hope I said his name right. We fall down, but we get up. Like that when that song came on and then they forgave each other. <laughs> My friends were girlfriends again. <laughs> but um, the show is major. This show is amazing. And this show really does need to come back. Mara, Brock, Mara said that she does not want to go out pitching and knocking on people's doors anymore for the show. And girl, you know what? It's fine. You don't have to do it because I will do it for you. I will do so it relevant to this time and to this day. And it's one of those shows that did not give the record, that did not get the recognition it deserved. It did not. I know a lot of people like, oh, girlfriends is like sex in the city. It's I can't really compare the two. And if we do wanna compare it, like Girlfriends was like amazing. Like it was because of the context of the show and the conversation that the show had. Um, Sex and the City was very superficial. I mean, it was more about like one person's life versus Girlfriends. It was about four women lives who are friends. And also amongst the four women, well, besides the four women, we all love William. William was like that male friend. <laughs> William was hilarious. The whole cast still looks good. And I believe that the show should definitely make a comeback. Um, and the interview that I recently watched, they were talking about maybe doing a mini series. And I would love to see a mini series to see um, basically Maybe, I don't know if Mara wants to pick up where they left off or like pick up a few years, but I would like to see that friendship back on television again. Um, in the interview, the girls are talking about, Charlamagne asked them, what would you want out of the character that you played? Um, Lynn said basically, because Lynn, Lynn was a girl who had all these degrees and the reason why she kept on going back to school for degrees is because she did not want to work the nine to five was not for her. The corporate lifestyle was not for her. And how many of us millennials relate to that? Like, Lynn was a creative, Lynn was an artist. And um, her response was, is that she, um, Persia White, um, who played the character of Lynn, basically said that, you know, the whole thing about going out of the country and becoming an artist and making it big there, and then, you know, being successful in another country and still being able to um, come back to the country and be an artist as well. Jill Marie Jones, who plays the character of Tony, um, she said that Tony to actually get a grasp on reality and will she still be with Todd? But the most important thing is that Tony and the show had a child. And um, also Tony just being more real with herself because Tony is very insecure. Tony really reminds me of Yvonne Orji character, um, Molly on Insecure so much. I need to see a show with them two play sisters because it's the resemblance is crazy. Um, 
they look alike but they don't look alike but you can see the resemblance and they play similar characters in a different universe um and also she said that she can definitely see herself because she was a real estate um she had her own real estate office and had her own business she could definitely be one of those people that you see on like millionaire million dollar million dollar listing or the shows on bravo or hgtv i could definitely see tony doing that because you know she definitely has that persona that character i could I see it. Maya was always reading books. Maya was like that friend who always want to stick up for you. She's like, oh girl. Maya was an activist in her own right. And how relatable is that today? Because Maya in this time period, I believe that she would be a writer. As she mentioned, she would be like a best-selling writer because Maya always read books. She would be an activist. And she said she'd probably be like a Michelle Obama. And I could see Maya doing that. I could I could see these characters evolve into this into these women because when I watched the show, these women were forever evolving into better people and not learn, only learning about themselves, but learning about their friendships and how to navigate life together. These women did life together. They were true girlfriend. Bring the show back. But last but not least, Joan, um, who plays Tracy Ellis Ross. I mean, Tracy Ellis Ross, who plays Joan basically said that maybe for her, Joan would realize that, you know, it's not about having a husband and having um, a successful career. Because remember, Joan um, quit being a lawyer and opened up her own restaurant ever since the whole entire, um, when, when William left, basically Joan left a little bit after, um, at, at that law firm, she left. But, and then she also said that she realized that, you know, to be single is also to be happy as well. And that not everyone has to get married. And I feel like, oh my gosh, like that narrative right now is so relatable today because maybe, okay, maybe Joan isn't, maybe if they continue to do the show and pick up what they left off or did like, you know, like some type of into the future thing, it, I think it's important to have that narrative as a woman who is successful but is not but does not have the idea or does not want to seek a marriage because it changes the narrative. Marriage is important. I believe in marriage, but so many people are, want things to be perfect to have a marriage. Because remember on the show, Joan dated a lot of different guys and the relationships did not work because of many other things. And Joan always wanted to be married. She wanted a family. She wanted that. She wanted a perfect life. And funny on Blackish, that's what that's what Tracy Ellis Ross has on that show. She has a family. She has a husband. She has a beautiful kids who are smart and intelligent. And and I believe that in this girlfriend show in this universe, it would be amazing to see that Joan doesn't have that passion to pursue a relationship because she has that in her girlfriends um she has that in joan i mean she has that in maya and tony and lynn and william she has that relationship already and then she's just successful in her relationship with her friends and in her business that she loves so much like these stories these narratives are so relatable to this day and not only are they relatable as Tracy Ellis Ross said they are timeless. Somebody please bring this show back. Um, now, moving on to who would produce what. If, if, if I had, if I could, this is what I would see. I would like that narrative to play on the show. Mara already has a script, so she's gonna write the show, of course. Um, get a group of writers, maybe. I would love to be a writer on the show. If y'all wanna start me as being a PA, I'll do that too, but you know, put me on. <laughs> but um, I would love to see Melina, um, I'm not sure I say her last name, I'll insert it here, be the director. She has directed many music videos. She directed Insecure and she's going, she has directed the movie Queen and Slim that has not come out yet. November 27th, I believe, not sure. But she could definitely be the director there. Um, the executive producer, I would love to see Kelsey Grammer because Kelsey Grammer was the person who helped the show be what it is and what it was 
or if maybe not Kelsey Grammer, there could be multiple executive producers. I could see Issa Rae, I could see Larry Wilmore, I could see Tyler Perry, but Tyler Perry needs to give them full creative control. And you know, this that studio is amazing and beautiful, even though I would love the show to be shot in um, Los Angeles just for old time's sake because the show was shot in LA and I believe that's the reason why I say I wanted Melina to be the director because the shots they have on Insecure of LA are so beautiful and when you watch the show Girlfriends you would see like random streets on LA that you never saw before so there we go that, that's how that ties in together. Costume because you know our girls always be on point with the way they dress. I would love to see Shiona um, be the costume the costume designer on that show because y'all know Tony, all, all the girls always look good. All the girls look good. William always look good. Yes, I would love to see it. Am I missing anything else? No. And just how like in our late in the late 90s, early 90s, 2000s, when they had all those black shows on television that we could all just relate to. Like people, people now we like shows that are true and that we can relate to and that we can see ourselves in. Those shows are timeless because it tells a story that people can relate to, you know what I mean? So I need a show to come back on air, okay? I need to see Girlfriends Back. There through 